Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for continuing to be with us as we continue to study your word, as we learn to gain your wisdom and your words and your instructions and your teachings, and all just so that we can resist our adversaries, and so that we may learn where exactly it is that Satan is attacking. Lord, it is so much easier to dig out a seed than it is to pull out a tree. And I ask you, Lord, that whomever it is who's watching and listening today and watching and listening this video right now in their life, that you would reach out and touch them and bring them closer to you. Lord, use me as a vessel to touch their heart. Chip away at that stone if that's what they have, Lord. Carry them if that's what they need. Send your angels to protect them in their time of need. And Lord, I just thank you so very much for the quiet time that you give me, the hour every day I get to spend with you, the quiet time in which you have so richly blessed me with to record these videos to pass on to your people, for your kingdom, for your army. And I ask, Lord, that you reach out and touch the hearts of others, that they may come to know you, that they may come to fight for you, that they freely come to you, so that you may also use them as a vessel to reach others. Lord, our life is not our own, and I ask and pray that you help each and every one of us remember that daily. I ask, Lord, that you are bringing us to our knees, praying fervently for one another, lifting each other up, encouraging each other, motivating and inspiring one another. Help us to speak positive words. Help us to rein in the tongue. The tongue that cuts like a knife, Lord, if we're not careful. Only through studying your word, Lord, will we have the words of wisdom, motivation, inspiration, knowledge, and strength to pass on to others. And I ask that you instill that desire in each and every one of us. Give us the hunger we need to marry you, to learn your word, wanting to study it. Get us in every Bible study we can, Lord. Help us to come to know you, to be one with you, so that we can join you in fighting against our adversaries to rebuke Satan back to the pits of hell where he belongs, to give him no more authority, to cut the puppet strings from the puppet master so that he may no longer control or dominate us, so that he may no longer lie to us, so that he may no longer control us. And I pray all this in your son Jesus' precious name. Amen. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I pray for you guys watching these videos. I can not stress enough how important it is in our day and age in this time in which we are living this world is is what he said it's where evil is is sought after and looked upon as good and as good is looked upon as evil but I'm here to share with you that God's miracles still exist every day. And again, may he give you eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart for the brokenhearted that you are able to become a witness. That you are able to experience and see those miracles that go on daily. They do still exist. They are still there. And I hope and pray that he will show you that. I hope and pray through these videos that you come to know him better and greater. But again, please do not rely just on me. You have to get into the word for yourself. You have to study these things for you. God has something he wants to tell you. I'm only sharing with you what he has laid upon my heart to share with you. But he has his message for you. And I just pray that through every video you watch, even if it's only one, that he is reaching out and grabbing hold of your heart and does not let go. Today's scripture, this video's scripture, is John 10, verses 27 through 29. Again, these words are written in the red because these are the words that Jesus spoke. 
My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. So all that fear that Satan is laying upon you, all that stuff that he's lying to you about, all that stuff that he's trying to convince you that, oh, you can't do it, it's not worth it, whatever else it is he may be saying to you, there it is. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. If your name is written in the book of life, it is written there to stay. All he asks of you is that when he shows you where you are sinning, is that you repent, you turn from it to never do it again, ask for forgiveness, and then move forward. Don't let Satan hold that over your head. Don't let the puppet master continue to use you as his puppet. Cut the strings, guys. Just cut the strings. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. Yes, Satan wants to be God-like, but he cannot be God. God is greater than all. God is greater. He is mightier. He is stronger than Satan will ever be. The only strength and control he has in our lives is what we give him. And yes, ignorance. Some of it we give him because we are ignorant, because we have not jumped into the word. We have not studied it to its fullest capacity. But even then, no one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. That's a promise, and that you need to write on your wall. That's a scripture that needs to be hung. That's a scripture you need to read to yourself each and every day. That is the scripture you need to be praying over your children as well as the armor of God. Study notes. Just as a shepherd protects his sheep, Jesus protects his people from eternal harm. While believers can expect to suffer on earth, Satan cannot harm their souls or take away their eternal life with God. There are many reasons to be afraid here on earth because this is the devil's dominion. That you can look up in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. But if you choose to follow Jesus, he will give you everlasting safety. Remember, we don't know the number over our head. We have no idea how long we are going to be on this planet Earth. But also remember that uh, when you die, uh, you're dead forever. And forever is a very long time. And again, the choice is yours. The fiery pits of hell are walking through the pearly gates upon the golden streets, seeing colors of more vibrant than you've ever seen, watching the musical notes come off the instruments, sitting and talking to Jesus Christ. Come on, what questions do you have for him when you get there? Are you praising him for every day that you are awake? This is a spiritual war, and we need to be praying daily, sometimes three and four times a day, depending upon what the circumstances are and depending upon how exactly Satan is attacking. But this is his promise to you, my sheep, listen to my voice. How are you going to listen to him if you're not in here studying his word? How are you going to know what he is telling you unless you are in the Word? You just gave your life to Christ? You need to go find a church and you need to get into a class that's known as Disciple. And I pray there's still some churches out there teaching it. 
but I'm here to tell you, you take that Disciple 1 class, it requires a lot out of you. And you better be willing to dedicate it. Because if you even miss one night's homework, you're going to be kicking yourself in the butt. It is that intense. You cannot miss one day. Sometimes your homework takes up to two hours. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not here to lie to you. Satan does that. I don't need to do that. I'm here to speak the truth. But I'm here to tell you, when you walk away from that Disciple 1 class, you're going to be more educated than most of the other Christians out there who are just waiting for osmosis for the scriptures to come to them or whatever it is or they just go through the scripture and they find a verse or five that they thoroughly like and that's all they use there are things that are apply to you and that you can use in your daily life from Genesis to Revelation and just because you read it today and didn't get anything out of it doesn't mean you're not going to read it later down the road and God's going to speak to you then he has a plan and a purpose for you he will not give you more than you can handle like I said doing the study took 13 years I've been having my anger focused at the wrong person it doesn't even belong on a person it belongs to Satan who out and out attacked this family and out and out unfortunately continues to attack this family I guess I can be thankful that he's not out attacking somebody else what is Satan trying to do he's trying to attack me so bad that it doesn't drive me to the word not today not any day sorry Satan I go back to the one who has been there for me the whole entire time. I go back to the one who has carried me through each and every situation, each and every struggle, each and every attack. And may God help me to recognize it when it's a seed, not a weed, a tall weed. And if any of you have seen my 17-year-old son, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on to this promise. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. But Satan's going to try. He's the father of lies. He wants you to fear. He wants you to think that your father in heaven doesn't love you that much. Well, looky there. There's his promise. He does love you that much. He loves you so much that no one can snatch you out of his hand. Now, if that's not a promise to walk on. I don't know what is. Come on, guys, get with me. Get the book if you haven't gotten it already. Get in there, read it, study it, put your prayers on paper. And I join each and every one of you, because where two or more are gathered, your prayers and requests will be heard. Come on, guys, we can knock this out of the park. But we have to do it on our knees, in prayer, and in the Word. We have to study it. We can not resist or contradict Satan until we know the word. May God be using these videos to write some of this on you. May he write it on your heart. May he show you what he wants you to print out and put on your desk at work. In your wallet, on the visor, in your purse, wherever it is it may be. Please join me and walk on his promises. Walk with him. His word never returns void. Until the next video, guys. Stay with me. We can do this. Together, where two or more are gathered.